Hello everyone, peace of the Lord to all of you. Uh, as we see in the screen, um, you know, all of us, I think we heard about uh, a Muslim cleric, he wanna, he issued a fatwa, which means holy order to kill this uh, singer. Uh, and his name is Omar Bakri. Now, uh, I'm not going to talk about the singer, I will talk about something else. Uh, Omar Bakri, simply, he is uh, a very proud Muslim, supposedly. And he is a teacher of the, or he is the one who give inspiration to Muslims around the world about how to be a good Muslim, which means how to kill Christians, how to kill Jewish, you know. This is how to be a good Muslim. And uh, he is very uh, high respected uh, Muslim uh, for all Muslims around the world. Even the one who say to you, I don't agree with killing, because at the, at the end, all of them, they are the same, trust me. But some of them they say it, some of them they don't say it. It's up to the location. If they are living in your country, they will not say it. If you are living in their country, they will say it to you, face to face. <clears throat> in any way, you know, those people who they are teaching people about how to be good, how to be bad, and they threat your, your, your neck if you don't agree with them. They want to kill Mickey Mouse. They want to kill the Danish cartoon. They want to kill, kill, kill anyone who don't agree with them. At the same time, they are the one who teach Muslims how their women they have they have to cover themselves, have they have to wear the burqa, etc. But at the same time, those people they have a different life behind door. The one who give inspiration to those fool Muslims about how to go and fight and kill for Allah how that's every woman have to wear burqa their daughters they work as stripper and dance naked in the clubs this guy who is teaching every muslim how to be good his daughter is a naked dancer and by the way i'm not i'm not talking about her uh, she mean nothing to me you know this is her business she want to be naked dancer she want to be but I'm, I'm talking about this uh, 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 this uh, 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 person of hate. You know, I believe that this naked dancer, at least, you know, she is one billion times better than this animal, Omar Bakri. At least she don't want to kill anyone. She don't threat anyone. She's harming no one. She want to be naked. This is her business. So, just to make it clear, I'm not putting this lady down, you know. This is her business, this is her life, you know. This is between her and between God. I'm not judging her even. She is, and even I'm saying she is a lot, one billion times better than her father. There is no way to compare even. She doesn't have a bloodshed of any human being in her hand. But in the same time, we will see that those people who they are claiming to be cleric of Islam, <clears throat> teachers of Islam, they say something and their life is something else. And the weird, that's all of them, they share the same. This is the Saudi newspaper, they have a website. And they are talking about him. And the funny, when they told him that your daughter is doing this, he said, as long she did not leave Islam, she is okay. Huh? You see, they, they teach husbands, this guy he have speeches, if your wife, she don't wear her clothes in the proper way as Islam teach, beat her until she die. In the same time, because he have no power over his daughter, well, as long as she don't leave Islam, it's okay. Uh, and the funny, his daughter, she said that she is a good Muslim, and she don't eat pork, and she pray to Allah. Huh? Is that what is important, really? <clears throat> to be naked, dancing totally naked, is not important, but, you know, as long as you don't eat pork, as long you know she fast Ramadan even like imagine uh, imagine she is in the stage and suddenly she is going to do prayer for Allah 
uh, and especially she is naked and I think men in the in the club they will love it to see a woman she is naked bending over to pray to Allah this will be very very exciting uh, you know the whole the whole thing is really you know but I, I believe that this woman she don't believe she don't she don't really believe in anything about Islam but you know she is putting in a certain circumstances like okay this is her father this is her family what she can do it's very clear that she hate Islam she don't belong to Islam and whatever she said that she's she know she don't eat pork this is I think this is garbage in the top of that it's very amazing that all the scholars of Islam they share the same even their boys they work as a striptease even their boys which mean even not only the daughters of those scholars they you know they do striptease so their their daughters and their boys they do striptease and you will see a scholar like this a hate monger like this very animal person I don't know if you remember him, him is his name is Hamza Abu Hamza even his kids they do work as a striptease and in case you don't remember just to refresh your memory even Osama bin Laden his niece she's do strip to take naked pictures So who is left? This is the niece of Sa uh, uh, Osama bin Laden, and she is very well known that she, uh, you know, she does trip, she take naked pictures, she, you know, they they have a video, uh, uh, you know, and we are talking here not about a private life. We are talking about people who do this for a living. You know, your pri your pri private life, it's a private life. Like let's say somebody was spying at them, etc. This is not really important, but we are talking about people who they are extremely extreme. In the same time, their families they live totally different from what they say. Like who can imagine that the, the, the niece of Osama bin Laden she will invite uh, twenty uh, cameramen to her shower top? You know she is taking naked pictures in the shower top and she is proud about it same case for this Omar Bakri you know and this guy uh, 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 Abu Hamza who want to kill everybody who don't belong to Islam so the whole idea in here as we see that in Islam all what is matter just convert to Islam you want to be a naked dancer no problem you want to be a strip no problem you want to be a thief no problem you want to be a prostitute no problem just be a Muslim and this is what her father he said Omar Bakri this is all is not important as long it did not she did not leave Islam so the double standard is very clear and you see how they fool those Muslims it's a business because the much you teach hate the much Muslims praise you and give you money and the much you will be respected but I think you know after I did read the comments in Elaf newspaper, you know, or uh, uh, comments of Muslims. The Muslims they love the idea, and which is very funny. All of them they are they are saying so what so what you know if if this has happened for a Christian priest, you will see all the Muslims. What a shame! What a filthy! What you know? Look look at them! Look you know. But in here you see the comments of Muslims. Suddenly it's okay. No problem, you know. Honestly, <laughs> look at this guy. She is free to do that. Since when in Islam you are free? Because simply they try to cover the shame, saying this is okay, you know. Uh, so what? But if you ask any Muslim, if your sister she is going to be a striptease, you will say so. So what? They are a hypocrite all the way to their bones they say something they do something they are the people of the hypocrite Muhammad who 
taught them how to be hypocrite. And actually Muhammad, all what he said to them, he did not say to them, be decent. He said, If you have a shame in your life, just cover it. It's not about stop doing shame. It's about just cover yourself, which means don't expose it. Don't let everybody know. If you are doing adultery, do it in secret. If you are doing filth, if you are a thief, do it secretly. If you are cheating your, your wife, do it secretly. That's it. Don't and you don't have to be good. Because the whole idea of Islam is how to fool people just to join the mafia one way in. Stay bad, we want you bad. Christ is Lord and Muslims are a bunch of hypocrites. I mean, see ya.